Okay, welcome back guys. So let's just let's finalize on creating creating some kind of texture in this wristwatch. So I think I'm great, great. It's just great. This red actor part keeps appearing. I'm not sure if I like the tiling for this cross. Uh, and the best is, is having some actor part, so let's fix that. Uh, build, build. Okay, here yeah, it is. So to fix that, I'll just come in here and to the texture set and just change this to 2K resolution. You kind of allow that <coughs> we calculate and then we should get we should get rid of this issue around here. Okay, all good. This lighting setup is actually in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, the trousers. I think I like to know. the pattern for these trousers. I would like to change it. Now, also like to duplicate the kind of add the normal map. There's no normal map in here, so I would like to add the normal map back in here. Because I'm still losing some of the sculpted details. So, where is the pattern for this? Everything just feels a bit slow. I'm just trying to figure out where that uh, that surface detail is coming from. What does this add? Mm, this kind of makes it more. In this is a bit interesting though. <coughs> I think I might just leave that in. But before I do that, let me kind of see if I can adjust. Yeah, this is actually where it's coming from. Let's see the tiling for this. Let's try 810. Okay. Then let's turn on this surface detailing in here. The surface detailing, let's see if we can. So the value is actually quite high. This fabric, let me try a value of 7 instead. Yes, this, this feels like a more promising value to use for this yeah, this is fine surface detailing let's try 14 here yeah yeah this, 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 this thing this works better now this works better now so I'm going to leave this as it is and then let's texture the wristwatch but I think I would like to I would like to use this dark shade for the leather of the wristwatch Let's use this dark shade for the leather of this watch. So, um, let's go to the shoe. 
select the shoe then I would like to select the sole. I think I named this leather sole. This is it in here, leather sole. So I'll copy this. Copy this layer. Now go to the wristwatch. Now I select the wristwatch. Oh, I'm ah, supposed to do one, one more, one other thing for the trousers. So that was going to bring in the normal map pack in here. So add a few layer in here. Turn everything off apart from the normal. And I like to use the trouser normal in here. Main trousers. Let me duplicate this one more just to intensify this a bit more. So, name this to normal. Normal. Okay. No, that's fine. So let's go back to the wristwatch. Make sure I turn off the trousers. Then I'll just paste in that black leather material in here. So I only want it to be okay. It seems to be affecting just what we need it for. Oh, not entirely. Okay, not entirely. So let's come in here and then rather let's give it a black marks instead. Then we can select just this letter piece. I think I also like to use the from the belt. I also like to use that bronze bronze material we had in there. Or is it copper a yeah, bronze so I'll copy this also come in here come to the wristwatch hmm this one is actually kind of this is more like silver though this is silver should we use silver instead of okay, this Let's use. We don't know right now. We don't know which. Mm, probably it helps to have some kind of silver in there. It's going to have some kind of contrast. It's have some kind of contrast in there. I'll need to add some stitches on this too. Mm, okay, let's get silver in there. Let's get silver in there. Let's get some silver material. No, not pure silver. Let's use smart marks. Let's try metal. Mm. I don't want something that is too, too rough. Okay, steel. We have this steel scratched and we have this steel stained. Mmm, -hmm. scratched. But let's use this scratch instead. We we'll just put this on top. To shine, let's put this down instead. Mm. 
Mm, let's see how this looks. Mm, I will see this looks fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, not too sure though. Let me see if I can paste that bronze material in the back where I, yeah, I copied it. Actually, copied it. Let's paste this bronze material. Let's figure out which one will work best. I think I'm kind of liking this bronze instead. Let me turn off this thing. It's still scratched. But I don't want it to be affecting this. This is going to be a glass material. So, um. Let's select only what is going to be affected by it. So, all uh, the black marks. So select this piece and this, then this, then this. You know, let me use UV instead for this piece. Okay, something like this. That yeah, it should be fine. Then this much which material we use, which shade are we using in here? So I can actually add my so I can actually add some opacity to this. Okay, alpha blending that's fine. So I will need to go copy the outer eyes glass material. So glass, let's copy this. Drop this in here. It is a bit slow right now. So yeah, it's only work until I have until I've dropped in a an opacity channel in here. So add a black marks to this. I only want this to be affecting just this mesh like so you can see now for the inner parts this the this um the end of the clock we need to kind of fix that and kind of give that a um, let's give that a good material also but I think I'll need to do that with Make sure 2D and 3D. Let's kind of find where that and is. There, see, they are in here. So, with this bronze material, I would like to come in here and select all of this in here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So the other part I need to focus on would be which piece is which piece would that be? This is where it gets a bit tricky. Now I still need this view. Let me create a new layer and just give that red. Give that red. Add the black marks to this. Go to the 3D and 2D view. If we got where the center piece is. I don't know if it's, if it's this piece though. Did this piece? Let's let's paint something in here and then we'll figure out what figure out which piece that is. Uh. Okay, we are still on the stitches board. Let's just figure out which piece that is. Oh, that's actually the that's actually the glass. So I think this is the this is the piece we need. Yes, this piece. So 
Let me figure out where. So I'm guessing this should be like 12. If I'm looking at it, this, let me figure out, see, this is what is more or less facing this way. So, you we'll say 12 should be around here. So let's see. Hmm, I know, I think I need, I will need to. Since I've already figured, figured out where this is, I would like to kind of paint or rather create these stitches now before working on this part properly. So I like to. So I'll just come in here, I'll turn all of this off. I'll leave the eye channel, let's get some eyes in here. Oh, I think I actually need, actually need color also. I need the color. Mm, maybe something around here. So let's put some stitches in here. Let's see. So let's take down the spacing. Yeah, something like this should be fine. I'm not sure about the color though. Oh, that's negative. Let's get this up instead. But we'll change the color, we'll change the color in a bit. So let's just get some stitching around this. Okay. In the other part for the wrist work, once I kind of figure out where it's 12 should be, I can just easily go back to Photoshop and then just kind of create. No. Just kind of create some clocking numerics for it. I think I will move too much. So let's just get this in here. Yeah, I think we should be fine. I think I like to get, it to get some kind of brownish, kind of brownish tone to it. Roughness, definitely need some roughness in here. I think something like this should be just fine. Now let's figure out where this should be. So this is more or less like three of three of almost two. 12, 1, in between 2 and 3. So let's figure out where. So let me just duplicate this layer. And I'll just use a, a default brush for this. Let's use the add brush instead. I'll use a red color for this. Add the black marks. Don't not lazy mouse, so don't need lazy mouse for this. The brush size now is just way too big. So let's just figure out where tape should be. So 2D and 3D view. Let's figure out where tape should be. So I'll just stamp this in here. Okay, now that's even the wrong place. If this should be here, uh, should be having to around here. Mm. Around here. 
almost yeah. I made a mistake. I should have just oriented this properly when I was creating the UVs, but since we have made a mistake already, let's just do the add part and get this right. Okay, I I stand. I got it. So red should be around here. I mean, twelve should be around here rather. So I know I should be aligning this around this this way. So I can just. <clears throat> think yes I'll put it I'll duplicate I'll put a new fill layer I just drop this down here and I'll name this fully just name give this a different color tone probably yes yeah, something like this should be fine let me do a quick save Okay, so now next thing I'm going to do is just to export out the albedo for this this watch texture. Just to export the albedo. So go to this watch. I'll turn off everything. So I'll leave the base color. In the global settings, I would like to dilation plus default background color. Okay, yeah, this should that should work. That should work. So export Yes, exports. Come on. So we have this exported out now. So let's go and check. Let's open open output directory. Let's see where that is. Where is it? Yeah, this is it in here. Is it in here? Then we know that surely this okay. We already, we already stamped something in there, so it shouldn't be too much. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I'm just going to import. Let me close. So I'm just going to drag and drop this in a new document instead of instead of Photoshop into a new document like so. So now we have this in here. So I know this is this is actually the shape we need. So let me just zoom into that actual shape. Come on. Uh, I'm still seeing a bit of an issue around here. Don't know if I have pad in turn on, so let's go back in here. Let's see if we can better still, better still. I'll duplicate this layer. And I'll give this layer some green. Kind of green. Then I'm going to add the black marks in here. Then I'll select this UV instead. So, so I don't have any conf so, so this is not kind of conflicting when I'm trying to use it. And also I would in the spot texture again. Padding. See there should be padding, 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 padding. Mm. No padding pass through. Let's put this out again. Let's open directory. Let's see what we have. If you have this, okay, this is fine. So let's just drag and drop this in here. Ah, uh, great, great, very just great. Probably close this.
and <clears throat> drop this in here yeah perfect so just zoom in here like so this is the entire thing I need yeah I don't think you that again so I'll just come in here and then download that was bringing this wristwatch this watch PNG I have in here then just kill this I know 12 should be around here so let's just try, first try and scale this to kind of fit something like so I just get this a bit perfect like this then I'm going to take this this way until we have 12 in this direction like so hit enter and I can hide the background and I'll just use a different a different background now so a full black background then this should be on full white We don't just give this color overlay white. Yeah, something like it should be just fine. So then I'm going to export this out. So I'll save this as a JPEG. A JPEG should be just fine. You just name this to block numerics okay then back in photoshop sorry photo say photoshop sometimes painter i will turn all of this off i don't need this anymore why now nah, i don't need this anymore so I think I'll just delete them. So then I would just bring in the clock clock in here. Mm, yeah, as a texture, I bring this as a texture. Import. Okay, so um. I think I'm going to be using this why this stay still scratch. Uh I think let me look for a fancy material for the for the base of this before applying the, the numerics in there. So let's go to materials. I think there was I think there was a, an interesting material I saw in here that's kind of pattern to it. Not sure, so that's a kind of pattern to it. plastic. Like yeah, that plastic there, this this this, this should be it. So let's drag and drop this on top. I would let me adjust the tiling for this first. Mm, something like this should be fine. Yeah, okay, something like that looks interesting. Then I'm going to add a black max to this. Then I'm going to select just this UV. Should only be affecting this UV. If I'm not making any mistake. Yeah, just this UV. Then I would uh I would Where is this white? This center piece white. There's a piece we are missing. Yes, this piece here. So this bronze, I would like to select this white piece. Okay. That's fine. Then this steel scratch. Let me just drag this all the way up. 
so I'll turn this on I like to use a bitmap max to kind of drive this so let's type in the plug in here plug voila now we have something in there now it's been applied to it the little difference the little thing we need nice to what do we need to do now is to uh so to give you some height information in there let's give you some height information so i'm going to do another few layer so after on this few layer i only need i only need the height channel for this so i'll increase the height channel all the way up and just to block height all right then right click and use a bitmap max so i'm going to use the same market bitmap so i'm going to use the same how do i Should probably drag this down instead yes the eye channel probably is way too high so maybe just put something around here like so so something like this will work just fine so now we have an interesting looking watch in there so if you just zoom in you can actually see all of this in here maybe i should even use silver for this for this clock for this hand clock yes now she will see why in there let's try some let's try some silver plates why is it not working let's use geometry instead still not working Let's start by excluding it. Then use oh, it won't work because I have a few layer that has texture in there. That's why it's not working. So let's use a material. Uh, probably an aluminium or something. Let's just drag an aluminium on top of this. Add the black marks to it and then just select this for me this aluminium is just too rough just too rough why is it not affecting the other one? Range. Yeah, this is a various. Okay, okay, okay. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually working. It's actually working. So, let's roughness, 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 roughness. Get something a bit rough, like so. To be having something a bit more interesting, like this. Maybe we're gonna add a BW roughness map in there just to make it a bit more interesting. Nah, this is looking too interesting. That's looking too interesting. I think something, I think something like so should be fine. I feel this clock should be a bit brighter. This clock should be a bit brighter. I should probably swap this in. I probably swap this in. Maybe for this, for this, I'm going to use the texture instead. 
texture. Let me use the clock instead. Yes, now that makes it brighter. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Like this. Hmm? Okay. Mm. Okay, that seems it doesn't seem to be working accurately like, like I would want it to. Mm, for this end of the clock, should we stick with the gold? Should we stick with the gold? Should we still stick with the gold? Uh, I think I'll use something in this, something different instead. Let's try this one here. Add the black marks. Let's see. Mm, I think this should work just fine. Yeah, this should be just fine. I think we can actually work with this. Yes, I think we can actually work with this. So now I've gone in there and establish the what? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is just fine. So that's how we go back creating this wristwatch. In here, I think this is pretty much fine. So let me do a quick save. So now we have everything in here as, as it should. Let's turn on shadows for this. Alright. Looking good. Okay. So, the next lesson we can start exporting this out and then just do some basic render in Mama Set Toolbag just to. Just to get a feel of how everything should be before exporting it out into before exporting out into um Arnold and then begin to create a but I would like to also pose this though and make some corrections to, to the character. Surely for the eye. Surely for the eye. Because this eye bag is just coming out way too much. I suppose to kind of push this inner part of the eyes outward a bit more. Inner part of the eye should be coming out, coming out for a bit more. But for the most part, this is looking good. So, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.